What up, Nick from Fisherman Source. Gonna do a little bit here about the highly touted, highly utilized, highly popular Mad Mantis poppers. We have the, the XLs, which came out last year, and then kind of the standard before that. I guess it would be a large. Two, two main sizes for popping yellow fins and blue fins. Not gonna get into colors or selections or anything like that. This is just gonna be strictly a, a how-to on a couple different ways to rig them. We get a lot of questions on how to rig them. Uh, you're going tuna fishing. You wanna make sure you're rigged up right. And if you do hook one, you have a good chance at landing it. And if you do lose it, it's not because of your terminal tackle or your rigging or something that I could have prevented. You wanna make sure that you're ready to go. So we have three different hook options here. We got BKK Raptors, got Owner 9070 for the belly and for the tail, single inlines, usually number eight ultra split rings, and a good quality ball bearing swivel. You can go a little a little heavy with this stuff. They're not gonna be shy. Uh, so basically you got Owners, you got BKK Raptors, and then you have the standby Owner ST66s. So I'm gonna rig one of these up. You know, even though this is a large split ring, this hook's pretty thick, right? So you wanna make sure you're doing it a certain way. There's a little bit of a technique to it. You gotta make sure you have a really good Pair of split ring pliers. These are the Shimano's, the, I think the biggest ones they make. These are what I use. We have these in the store. These these never fail me. Basically, you wanna get it split and then straighten it out. And I have a little trick of how I hold the hook where I can push against the split ring, create some leverage to get it started. Once it's on there, you kinda of wanna be careful when you're pulling it. Try not to be distorting it, twisting it, or opening it. And you want to make sure you hear that snap when it closes shut. That tells you that you haven't really damaged the split ring. If I don't hear that snap, I throw it away. I'll get a new one. Now just to put them on the hook hangers, get it started. Spin it around and just get it on there. Snap. Turn it around. Snap, finish it up. Another thing, what you're tying to. Same split ring, number eight ultra. Split it right onto the nose. Snap. You just tie or crimp to your swivel. Now they can't torque you. Another popular option, BKK Raptor 3L. Same split ring, same deal, just a different option. Snap now, right on there. Now you're ready to roll number eight owner Ultras 3O BKK Raptors. Pretty savage. Third option is a 9O for the belly and a 7O for the tail. Owner single replacement in lines. These are tough. This, this is a big, thick hook eye. You gotta be really, really careful. Snap. So we're still good. 7O is gonna be a little bit easier, a little bit less thick. Snap. When you put them on the tail, I'm gonna have it facing out. That way if a fish hits it from behind and it folds, it's still exposed. Whereas if it was like this, in theory, it could go there and you could miss a, you could miss a strike or you miss a hookup. Conversely, with the belly hook, you want it facing forward. Now for the swivel, for the nose, swivel split ring. The, the other idea behind this swivel and split ring is you could just leave a swivel tied onto your popping rod and just leave a split ring on each one of your poppers or stick baits or whatever you're using and just swap it out and put it onto the next split ring of the next plug you're using. It's kind of like a clip, but upgraded. That's kind of the, the, the three main ways you can rig them. I'm sure there's many other ways people do it, but the, these are kind of tried and true methods. Until next time, we'll see you. Keep them tight.